Welcome to the initiation ceremony of Newman, Kansas Theta Chapter of Pi Gamma Mu, the International Honor Society in Social Sciences. I am Olivia Camarina, president of Newman, Kansas Theta Chapter. Today, we will be recognizing new members joining during the 2019 and 2020 academic year. I would like to introduce our sponsor, Professor Heck. I consider the initiation ceremony as the most special event of our annual chapter activities. I join Olivia in welcoming you, your family, and friends to the initiation ceremony for our newest members of Pi Gamma Mu. I would like to present Dr. Kimberly McDowell Long, our Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs, to offer some thoughts about the importance of the kind of academic excellence you have manifested to become a member of Pi Gamma Mu. Greetings. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and students of Newman University, I am delighted to congratulate each of you who are being inducted into Pi Gamma Mu. Pi Gamma Mu has a mission that is close to my heart as it is the oldest and most distinguished honor society for students in the social sciences. As a social scientist myself, I know full well how our work in diverse fields, ranging from anthropology to social work, help inform and shape our understanding and discourse surrounding the most pressing social issues of our time. The fields in which you study and in which you will work help inform the ways in which we understand individual human behavior and the behavior between and amongst groups. The social sciences inform our beliefs about the relationships between people, the groups they belong to, and institutions. Those understandings help us shape the way in which people and institutions make decisions, foster change, and exercise power. As a Pi Gamma Mu inductee, you are doubtless confronting issues like systemic racism, social unrest, diversity, equity, and inclusion. You are preparing for fields in which we seek truth about the human condition. The initiation into an honor society is an important achievement. Not only does it recognize students of character, it helps employers and civic leaders identify new potential leaders. Honor societies also provide you with opportunities to meet like-minded people, network with valuable contacts that will help you throughout your career, and provide you with opportunities to engage in issues and service that matter to you. Many members of Pi Gamma Mu have engaged in leadership before you. And I trust that each of you will contribute in your own unique way. Each of you, I'm sure, is familiar with the 1954 Supreme Court decision that outlawed segregation in public education, Brown versus the Board of Education. Did you know that the man who wrote the legal brief was a 1941 inductee into Pi Gamma Mu? That was African-American attorney judge and member of the US cabinet, William Thaddeus Coleman Jr. Did you know that the person who put together the Marshall Plan that helped contribute to the rebuilding of Europe after World War II also won the Nobel Prize in 1931? That was Charles Kindleberger and he was a member of Pi Gamma Mu. Did you know that the 1971 Nobel Prize winner in economics was a member of Pi Gamma Mu? That was Simon Kuznets. You have many accomplished members of Pi Gamma Mu to inspire you. However, one of them is here today, Dr. Larry Heck. Dr. Heck has been a member of Pi Gamma Mu and a chapter sponsor for more than 40 years. He is a thoughtful and generous sociologist who has impacted thousands of students in his time in higher education. He is a gentleman and a scholar of rare quality. 
Thank you, Dr. Heck, for your many years of faithful servant leadership. Students, today you join these and countless other accomplished social scientists as honored members of Pi Gamma Mu, and you did not make it here by mistake. Those around you saw a unique promise in you. Few of us will win Nobel Prizes, but all of us contribute in meaningful ways, no matter the discipline. This year, perhaps like no other in recent decades, has illustrated how critical it is to have interdisciplinary scientists working to meet human need. This year, we have faced a global pandemic that impacted even our gathering here today. We could not have imagined that 18 months ago. We have witnessed the ways in which public health and the economy are entwined. We have watched as our families and our colleagues have struggled with new technology, new ways of learning, and struggled to balance the stress that has burgeoned into prolonged trauma for many. We have witnessed our brothers and sisters of color as they have been treated with systemic injustice. We watched our political institutions sway under the pressure of the most recent election. Each of you has a role to play in this new world. Each of you was selected for membership in Pi Gamma Mu because you have great potential to contribute to positive change. Congratulations to each of you. I look forward to seeing the change you create. Thank you, Provost Long. We appreciate your contribution to this important ceremony. Now the time has come for the initiation ritual. For the ritual, I am joined by the 2019-20 Chapter Officers, Olivia Camarina, President, Brianna Southworth, First Vice President, Abby Riley, Second Vice President, and Rachel Mudloff, Secretary and MSW Representative. We will begin by reading the names of the new members and include their program and their location. Sunny Berry, Colorado, Master of Social Work. Charlotte M. Blake, Colorado, Master of Social Work. Christopher Michael Brinkley, Colorado, Master of Social Work. Annette Brown, Colorado, Master of Social Work. Elena A. Cummings, Kansas, Sociology. Celicia M. Dean, Kansas, Master of Social Work. Logan M. Dickey, Kansas, Biomedical Science. Mary Margaret Duffy, Colorado, Master of Social Work. Danielle Marie Saito, Kansas, Social Work. Bridget A. Edmondson, Colorado, Master of Social Work. Marsha Lynn Evans, Colorado, Masters of Social Work. Sierra I. Fair, Kansas, Master of Social Work. Don Michelle Fanning, Colorado, Master of Social Work. Tabitha E. Hardy, Colorado, Master of Social Work. Emily Jordan Harris, Kansas, History. Kayla Ann Hauber, Kansas, Nursing. Lyric Elizabeth Hernandez, Kansas, Social Work. Frederick O'Hobson, Jr., Colorado, Master of Social Work. Shay Brianne Hoover, Kansas, Psychology. Felicia Lama, Kansas, Master of Social Work. Caleb Ray Limes, Kansas, Accounting. Emma Nicole Lowe, Kansas, Master of Social Work. Christine Aline McWithy, Kansas, Master of Social Work. Brittany Ann McGee, Kansas, Criminal Justice and Psychology. 
Deborah N. Moss, Kansas, Social Work. Carrie M. Murphy, Colorado, Master of Social Work. Julia Myers, Kansas, Business Data Analytics. Erica Nola, Kansas, OTA. Sarah Elizabeth Roman Emerson, Kansas, Psychology and Criminal Justice. Joseph Royer, Kansas, Elementary Education. Macy M. Schneeweiss, Kansas, Master of Social Work. Paul Stubbs, Colorado, Master of Social Work. Stephanie V. Sufian, Colorado, Master of Social Work. Alondra Torres Hernandez, Kansas, Psychology and Criminal Justice. Samantha Lam Tran, Kansas, English. Cheryl L. Turinus, Colorado, Master of Social Work. Pedro Vega Perez, Kansas, Criminal Justice. Hannah Ray Wheeler, Kansas, Master of Social Work. Alicia B. Wiley, Kansas, Elementary Education. Lorraine A. Williams, Colorado, Master of Social Work. Sarah Rose Zogelman, Kansas, Social Work. We will begin the ceremony by asking the chapter officers and all of the new members to light a candle. Thank you. Pi Gamma Mu is an international social science honor society. The name refers to the first letter of three Greek words that denote the study of the social sciences. And it is to that end that the Interdisciplinary Honor Society is dedicated. More specifically, the society aims to reward interest and achievement in the study of social sciences by conferring of membership upon those who have thus distinguished themselves and who accept the society's aims and ideals. Pi Gamma Mu has several meaningful symbols. The first is the society's key. The wreath at the bottom suggests that social science is the outgrowth and fulfillment of natural science. The running figure is reminiscent of the ancient Greek torch race and symbolizes humanity bringing knowledge to the solution of its own problems and passing on the light from generation to generation. The society's colors are blue and white. These two colors are symbolic of truth and light. The motto of the society is the precept of the master teacher. Ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Pi Gamma Mu has seven ideals, scholarship, science, social science, social idealism, sociability, social service, and sacrifice. Scholarship, it is basic to all the rest. We are committed to the disciplined and open-minded pursuit of truth in the firm expectation that it will ultimately bring to humanity what we passionately passionately desire, peace, prosperity, equality, and true freedom of both body and mind. The second ideal is science. We need and admire the spirit of science, the firm belief that the problems that confront humanity can be solved if we will reach out the facts and think clearly on the basis of those facts. The third ideal is social science. In our commitment to the truth, we are open to all sources of knowing, but we rely on the scientific method with its careful observation and logical thinking to produce valid and reliable social facts, including knowledge of human motives and behavior, the nature of past and present human association and social institutions, and social problems and responses to them. The fourth ideal is social idealism itself. Where there is no vision, the people perish. 
Our vision embraces the creation of an ever more compassionate, wise, just, and tolerant society and world system with freedom and equal opportunity for all. We aspire to maximize human potential in all regards, promoting individual and collective fulfillment and well-being. The fifth ideal is sociability. Specialization makes us narrow. Our social problems are complex. They will never be solved without the cooperation of all the social sciences and of those who study them. The sixth ideal is social service. The pursuit of our ideals requires giving freely, fully, and joyously of our time, talent, and energy. The fruit of our scholarship, science, and idealism is reaped through service to others for the benefit of all humanity. And this, in turn, requires the cooperation, dedication, passion, and participation of all people and of all the social services. The seventh ideal is sacrifice. We are engaged in the greatest and finest of all the arts, the building of human society. Giving freely of means, time, talent, energy, and passion contributes to the fulfillment of our other ideals. To all the candidates for membership assembled here, having heard the ideals of this society, do you accept them as your own? If so, say, I do. I, I do. do. I do. Sponsor, in your capacity as the faculty secretary and monitor of our chapter, have all the candidates here assembled and met the stated qualifications for membership in this society? Yes, their records have been examined and they have been certified as meeting all local and international qualifications for membership. I recommend them to you individually for membership as their names were read. Candidates, by reciting the motto of Pi Gamma Mu, you pledge to honor the society's ideals and purposes. Repeat after me. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. May the truth indeed make you free, and this freedom make you strong, and your strength set others free. I declare to all present that these initiates are now henceforth members of Pi Gamma Mu, and as such are hereby invested in all the rights, privileges, honors, and duties connected therewith. Congratulations to you all. Please blow out your candles. I would like to introduce Suzanne Rupp, the Executive Director of Pi Gamma Mu, to offer her welcome to membership and to share some information about the Honor Society. I am honored to join you in celebrating the newest initiates of the Kansas Theta Chapter of Pi Gamma Mu. Congratulations, new members. You should be very proud of your accomplishments. Gaining an, an invitation to Pi Gamma Mu is no easy task. It is the result of years of hard work and dedication to the social science fields that shape our society. From public service to education, to industry, to healthcare, it is the social scientists who provide the research and knowledge that guide the decisions for the betterment of the future. In fact, social scientists are more important than ever as we face COVID-19. And your persistence and hard work, despite these unprecedented challenges, has shown the world that you are not only getting through this, you are adapting and growing in whole new ways. What you have accomplished despite this unprecedented situation will mark you as a unique generation of leaders with skills that can only be developed in real time. When faced with an unbelievable set of circumstances, you face the challenge head on. You are the leaders of tomorrow, and I am certain that our future is in good hands. Congratulations on your success. Now, I would like to share with you a little bit about the benefits of membership in Pi Gamma Mu. Pi Gamma Mu was founded 
in 1924, right here in Kansas, and is the oldest and preeminent honor society in the social sciences. Our mission is to encourage and promote excellence in the social sciences and to uphold and nurture scholarship, leadership, and service. Today, we have around 140 active chapters. There are over 275,000 lifetime members to date. Our multidisciplinary approach allows students from various disciplines to socialize with and learn from each other. Hi Gamma Mu has been a member of the Association of College Honor Societies since 1953. The ACHS is the only certifying agency for college honor societies in the country. Checking to see if an honor society is a member of the ACHS is a sure way to know that a society has met rigorous standards and provides real benefits to its members. Pi Gamma Mu has an impressive list of prominent members, including U.S. President Lyndon Baines Johnson, anthropologist Margaret Mead, President pro tempore of the U.S. Senate and U.S. Senator for Iowa, Charles Grassley, past president of the University of Pennsylvania and of the Rockefeller Foundation, Judith Rodham, prominent sociologist, Petrium Sorokin, and Rear Admiral Richard Byrd, who in 1928 carried the Pi Gamma Mu flag to the Antarctic to dramatize the spirit of adventure into the unknown, characterizing both the natural and social sciences. And many more. Hi Gamma Mu has a peer-reviewed professional journal, the International Social Science Review. Virtually every edition contains the work of at least one student member of the Honor Society. This can really help jumpstart an academic career or help your chances of getting into graduate school. And now you have the advantage of knowing about it. Our board of trustees includes two student representatives who attend annual board meetings and participate actively in governing Pi Gamma Mu. In addition, individual chapters often elect student officers at the chapter level. Both represent great opportunities for personal and professional growth. Pi Gamma Mu has a wonderful scholarship program. Scholarships are intended for the first or second year of graduate work and up to 10 scholarships are awarded each year. Only Pi Gamma Mu members are eligible. The deadline is February 15th, so now is a great time to start working on your application. Visit our website for more details. We also offer partner scholarships through our membership in the Association of College Honor Societies. These scholarships are listed here and more information is available on our website. Members of Pi Gamma Mu meet one of the requirements for entrance at the GS-7 level in numerous occupations in the federal service. Membership can help a student meet the criteria for sub superior academic achievement, which can equate to a pay increase of thousands of dollars per year if you are a new employee of the federal government. Service is another key part of Pi Gamma Mu. One of our most active chapters is the Kansas Theta chapter. In fact, this chapter was placed on Pi Gamma Mu's most recent role of merit for chapters for its excellence in service. Service projects have included assisting with Thanksgiving meals for families in need, speaking about how to cope with grief, holding a bake sale to benefit uh, and help purchase bicycles for children, helping to raise awareness about sexual assault and domestic violence, holding a voter registration drive, and more. We do have some great merchandise available on our website. Our next convention in 2021 will be held virtually. We are really excited about our first virtual convention, which will allow, allow even more students to participate. 
Lots of great things will be happening, including student paper presentations and a student leadership development program. We hope that you will join us. We are on social media, so please do these things. And here's my contact information. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to contact me at any time. Thank you. Thank you, Suzanne. We appreciate your contribution to our ceremony. We also appreciate all you do at headquarters to recognize the academic excellence demonstrated by our new members. Now, I welcome back Olivia to close our ceremony. I want to congratulate you on your achievement of your academic excellence and express my appreciation for your participation in our initiation ceremony. I'm certain your family and friends are proud of your accomplishments. I also want to thank the other officers, Sponsor Heck, Provost Long, and Executive Director Suzanne Rupp for their contributions to our initiation ceremony. And remember the Pagama Moo motto, Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Would you join me in repeating the motto? Ye, Ye shall, shall know, know the, the truth, truth and, and the, the truth, truth shall make, make you free. free. This ends our initiation ceremony.